hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on shota yoga ga yes the one and only saronia of ok kingdom she recently had an interview and stated that if she wasn't a networking woman of course her husband would have left her and he wouldn't have stayed well for the benefit of those who don't know who shutayo is she's an actress a producer in the nollywood industry more specifically the yoruba part and as of late because of her title and as a chief she has hardly been seen in any movies lately she was asked several questions in this interview and here are some of the things that she was asked and she gave answers to in an interview with the son toshaya gaga was asked who is taya shubala off camera she responded by saying I'm a very lively person, but I can also be direct opposite at the same time. Off camera, I love to be by myself a lot. I prefer to hide in my room and do things on my phone. If the phone is not available, I sit at my thinking table and start to do what I have to do. As mentioned earlier, Tayo Shobola, who is popularly known as Shotayo Gaga, is the Saronia of Uke Kingdom, which is in Nasarawa State. And as expected, such title is an indigenous one and should be bestowed to an indigenous of the place. But to a lot of people's surprise, Chota Yagaga, who is from the western part of Nigeria, was bestowed this title. A lot of people will start asking, does she speak outside? Is she from there? Is he a paternal side or a maternal side that comes from Uke Kingdom? For the Emya to have bestowed this title upon her. But in her response to some of the interviews, it was with the punch. She was asked the question if she had to go through some fetish things before she was able to get this title but then she explained that she didn't have to involve herself in any fetish thing she said in her words i believe the place saw some qualities in me and deemed it fit to give me the title according to the emir of ok kingdom his father's twin sister was the first person to be bestowed with that title and since her demise no one has been given the honor I am more or less a role model to women in the community. Tayo further explained and emphatically stated that she did not have to engage in any fetish practice before she has she was bestowed with the title. She added and said, That is wrong to say. I am a religious person who does not joke with prayers. I would not dabble into anything that would rob me of a good relationship with my creator. This was what she had to say in defense of the question she was asked. Also, I explained that the people of UK Kingdom are quite educated and she speaks to them in English as she only understands little Hausa. She said, I speak a few words of Hausa gleaned from books. They speak English as well. It is a civilized kingdom. For those who don't know, we have several people who can translate. I also have a book from my NYC days because I served in Gida Madi, Sokoto. They gave us a book to help us communicate better with the locals and indigenous, and that still comes in handy. Whenever I go there and I don't know what to say, I read up beforehand. Quote Shotai was further asked if she saw the title coming, but she explained that the fact that I didn't see it coming was the most surprising part. It just happened and I took a deep breath and embraced it. I got the title the first time I stepped into that kingdom. I had gone there for something else. I didn't know I would be offered that prestigious title. And this sparked another question which interviewer asked and said, does it mean that you are now the wife of the Emir? As many people wonder if you are now the wife of an Emir or how come you were crowned the Queen Mother? She said, I don't think Emir crowns their wives Queen Mothers. If you are married to an Emir, you cannot be everywhere. There's always a limitation as the wife of an Emir. End quote. This was Shutayo explaining and clearing the narratives that for someone who is the wife of an Emir, you will not be seen everywhere. You will not be seen on social media like every random person or have to take on roles and so many other activities outside being the wife of an Emir. So despite the fact that she is the queen mother of Oke Kingdom, the Saronia of Oke Kingdom, she has several other activities that she gets involved with outside being the Saronia of Oke Kingdom and we 
which is not applicable to the wife of an emir of course they know that she is a married woman although she had her wedding secretly without bringing it to social media in fact it was months after her wedding that she shared the pictures from her wedding as low-key and selected people were in attendance in a chat with the punch she explained why she decided to marry secretly she said i am married my husband is not in the movie industry i have been married for a while I had known my husband for about seven years before we got married. If you know me, you will know that I am the kind of person that loves my personal life. I have been with my husband for seven years. I read some blog posts and laugh. They should feel free to tag anyone. I love keeping my personal life private. That is why I decided to marry secretly. I did not get married this year. I only just posted the picture some months ago. Describing what marriage has been like and how it has affected our life generally. She said, it has been a sweet experience since the day we started dating till now that we are married couples. Obviously, there will be ups and downs just like in any relationship, but we are mature enough to handle things. I had known my husband for about seven years before we got married and I am still the same person. I usually call myself the lane minder. The most important thing is that being married attracts a lot more respect than when I was single. It's a phase in life we are flowing gradually with it. Shotaya is someone who is quite selective with roles and you see her in very few movies. So far she has been able to feature in over 15 movies and she has produced some herself. Explain this that she is quite selective with roles even before she became the Saronia or have titles or even get married. She's quite selective. She said there's a limit I can go. Some men don't like their wives in touchy kissy roles. Before now, I was very careful about the kind of roles I accept. I didn't do a lot of romance on set. Some actors find it easy to marry each other because they are used to doing those things a lot with themselves on set. So feeling certain, I never used to do those things and now I can't. This was Shutayo. She further explained that her mother is quite an hardworking woman and of course is one of the reasons why her husband admires her. She doesn't relax, she chases money like her husband doesn't have it all. Now what she said, I didn't grow up with a lazy mother. People in my family look at me now and see that I am more like my mother. I grew up living in my mom's house. She was accomplished even before she married my father who had his own things. Imagine growing up like that. But even with everything I have done, I know that I have not started. I still have a long way to go. And I am not the kind of woman that relaxes simply because her husband has it all and provides for her. I chase money daily and I pay bills every day. I have buildings that I have to maintain and manage. If I am not hardworking, my husband would not stay. End quote. This was Shotai explaining that if she was not a wealth creator and someone who could manage wealth, definitely her husband would have found someone else to do that. And this is not bragging statement. Well, guys, say have you. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.